Welcome back to Chris TV Triple Zero. I have a few stories I want to share with you guys today. Now, some stories are going to be sad, and I'm also going to try and share some good stories. But with that being said, I hope you guys are having a safe and blessed day and doing a good deed. And I'm going to go into these news reports on where I get the information from. We got a table full of absolutely amazing people from all over the country that have traveled here. Everybody at this table has contributed or tipped $100 for you and for the other waitress who unfortunately had to go home because she wasn't feeling well. And then we put it out to our social media channels and we actually had quite a bit more, more money sent in. So we are tipping a total of 4000 especially if you've donated to the $100 Dinner Club and you're donating here, just your continued generosity. Uh. Cornell University is moving their final exams online after over 900 students tested positive for COVID in just one week. The campus is on high alert after finding indicators of the new Omicron variant in fully vaccinated students after Thanksgiving weekend. Because of the outbreak, Cornell said it's canceling a ceremony for December graduates, all university events and activities, and closing libraries and fitness centers. They're also closing their campus to visitors and canceling athletic games. Cornell implemented a mandatory vaccination policy for students this year and required regular testing for unvaccinated students and weekly testing for vaccinated students. Princeton University announced that effective Thursday, they're also moving finals online and limiting indoor gatherings due to an increase in COVID cases. We told you yesterday that a new study found the Omicron variant is more transmissible than other variants, even for fully vaccinated folks. Health experts suggest getting a booster if you're eligible to raise your immunity. Derek Chauvin changed his not guilty plea on Wednesday and pleaded guilty to federal charges of violating George Floyd's civil rights. Chauvin also pleaded guilty in a separate federal charge for a case involving a 14-year-old boy during an encounter in 2017. The move allows him to avoid another high-profile trial after he was convicted this year of murder and manslaughter in Floyd's death. In September, the former Minneapolis police officer pleaded not guilty to both charges. As part of this plea deal, federal prosecutors asked for Chauvin to be sentenced 20 to 25 years in federal prison with five years of supervised probation. He's currently serving a 22 and a half year sentence for his state case. The judge is expected to sentence Chauvin at a later time. Okay, check this out. Those are teachers in South Dakota scrambling to pick up dollar bills to help raise money for their classrooms. It was part of a promotional event at a minor league hockey game last weekend called Dash for Cash, where 10 teachers competed for $5,000. While the money was meant to be part of a good-natured giveaway, it's being called out online and by local lawmakers. Teachers should never have to grovel for money that's needed for classroom improvements. The event's sponsor issued an apology on Monday. We're less than a month away from the anniversary of the January 6th Capitol riot. And a lot's been going on. Earlier this week, the House Committee investigating the insurrection released text messages President Trump's chief of staff received on the day of the attack. Quote, can he make a statement? Ask people to leave the Capitol, Sean Hannity urged. As the violence continued, one of the president's sons texted Mr. Meadows, quote, He's got to condemn this ASAP. Cute. Cuter. Cutest! Guess I'm taking all three. On Tuesday, the House voted to hold the former chief of staff in contempt of Congress after he refused to answer questions about the January 6th attack. Now he could be facing a criminal charge. Also on Tuesday, the D.C. Attorney General filed a lawsuit against the Proud Boys and the Oath Keepers, asking for monetary damages for injuries to police, property, and other costs related to the riot. He says he plans to collect, quote, every penny he can from the groups.